Hey guys, welcome back to another action figure review. Today we're taking a look at the Spawn Deluxe set by McFarlane Toys. On the back of the package we have artwork from the Spawn comics having him sit on his throne of trash. On the side we have more comic art of Spawn standing. The large deluxe set comes out as one large piece. You'll have to cut open the straps on the back to remove the cardboard. And of course, to remove the stand, you'll have to rip open the plastic to get it out. Spawn was once a human, known as Al Simmons, a CIA agent working as an assassin. He was betrayed and killed by his own team. Al was then resurrected from hell, returning to Earth as a hell spawn, trying to figure out answers of his past and being thrown in a battle between heaven, hell, and humans. Spawn's underground hideout is located in Rat City, a series of alleyways and sewers in New York where the homeless live. Spawn becomes known as the King of Rat City after clearing them out of thugs, gangs, and criminals. Over time, Spawn adds more and more trash to his throne, leading up to the version that comes with this figure, inspired by the issue 250 alternate art. Let's check out the details. Spawn's black symbiote suit wraps tightly around his head, leaving small wrinkles in the skin. The eyes glow green with demonic powers, with dark eyeshadows darkening the area, making him stand out over the white blades on his mask. On the side we can see the smooth back of the head, with minimal details other than some muscles in the neck. Spawn has the classic white stripes on his chest, with this version being more sharp and a clean design. The black suit emphasizes the muscles on the body, where we can see the details in the sculpt like large muscles and their fibers. On the back we can see more tight muscles in the sculpting with a small hole at the center that we will be pegging into the cape later on in this review. More large muscles on the shoulder with the left side being wrapped around a red armband with silver spikes. A large red gauntlet covers the right arm, layered over each other with red plates and more silver spikes coming out of it. On the left arm, a smaller piece of red armor is wrapped around the wrist with spiked knuckles on the hand. We have a large chain belt on the waist. A skull themed belt buckle secures the chain link silver belt at the center. Another skull at the center holds up the belt on the back, where the white stripes from the chest meet up here. More large muscles are sculpted into the thighs, with the left thigh having red pouches strapped onto them. The right leg has Spawn's iconic heavy armored leg, with more spikes coming out of the red plated armor. On the left leg, we have a smaller red bands wrapped around the leg and foot, with more small silver spikes. Let's take a look at the articulation. We have a ball jointed head, shoulders that opened and rotate all around, a rotating bicep, double jointed elbows, wrists that rotate and bend up and down, a ball jointed chest, and a ball joint at the waist that mostly rotates. Legs that open and bend forward and back, rotating thighs, Double jointed knees, ankles that rotate and bend up and down with a bit of the articulation hindered by the heavy armor, and a toe that bends up. I've placed this version of Spawn next to other McFarlane Spawn figures to get a better idea of the size. The large detailed trash throne comes mostly pre-built with only having the top piece needing to be installed. The throne is able to be taken apart and rebuilt, with the small tattered cape being able to be removed. Spawn fits on his throne tightly, with that small tattered cape piece giving it the appearance of a much larger cape. We get the upper section of Spawn's cape made of a rubbery plastic with a small silver chain holding it in place. The cape installs easily onto the figure, with the large peg fitting securely onto the back. And we get the standard McFarlane stand with the Spawn logo on it. The Spawn Deluxe set is a fun centerpiece to add to your collection. The throne of trash Spawn keeps adding to in his underground hideout is a unique accessory in something we really don't see other toy lines doing with their figures. The Spawn figure itself has a clean look to his design and an early version of his suit that was shapeshifted to be more heavily armored. McFarlane has a lot of Spawn releases and this version offers a nice clean version with this one offering a removable cape. The paint is a bit sloppy on the throne and could use a bit touching up. 
The removable cape being only the top half is a letdown, as it's clearly intended to fit with the throne accessory and not anything else. I do wish we could have had the entire cape, even if it was in two pieces and had to be reconnected to each other. As for the accessories, we only get the throne and the cape parts, but in the official artwork this set is based off of, we see Spawn without his mask, so an alternate maskless head would have pushed this figure into a must-have purchase. This Spawn Deluxe set pushes more towards the centerpiece area, where it's a more of a set and forget type of collectible and not something you repose over and over. That being said, Spawn's Throne of Trash is an important part of the character and an amazing accessory that you'll want to put at the center of your Spawn collection. The actual figure that comes with the throne is fully posable and has great articulation on its own. I've seen other companies sell their own accessories apart from their figures, so for the price, the value is sort of there. So if you're a hardcore spawn fan or just want a clean looking armored spawn, this is a good set to pick up. Just make sure that you have some accessories or a third party custom cape for your spawn if you're planning on having him not sit on the throne. He is out in stores now, but if you're on the fence, you might want to wait for a sale. Alright guys, that's it for this review. More reviews are coming up soon, so check out my other videos or leave a comment while you wait.